Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the most original genre on YouTube. Okay, I didn't even realize how many people did these types of videos before. Like, I did one reading the comments, I did like a few, then I watched them back. And so you know how when you watch a video, then there's like a bunch of recommended videos. So I watched one of my reading the comments, and then the recommended videos started to just fill up with reading the comments, and it turns out just like every YouTuber on the face of the earth does it. So, you know, just to add to the originality of the site, uh, I'd start, I thought I'd, I'd keep doing them. Anyhow, but we just have a lot of, a lot of brilliant insights in the comments all the time. I just can't not share them with the world. Like, I, I think it would just be like a criminal offense not to. I mean, uh, the, the gameplay in the background, you know, thought I'd do something other than Portal because I promised no Portal. And also, I had m one of my friends come up to me at school and was like, Evan, the Portal gameplay is getting a little old. So I give you Half-Life gameplay the original half-life i've never played it this is my first time so it's it's, it's apparently a must-play game it's an old one it's an old one i think you can tell just by looking at it. first first comment i read today was uh something about one by ninja master and he writes first and ninja master i would just like to congratulate you on indeed being first in whatever video you were first to because you know big deal in the youtube community i'd also like to congratulate you on being the first comment read in this video uh congratulations man uh, spencer toomey wrote L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L. I am the first person in the world. In emphasis on the in the world. So I am the first person in the world to put a comment. And this was on one of my old videos, and he was the first guy to comment on it. So good job, man. Uh, good job. I I just don't know what to tell you. I just like to extend um. A little notion of congratulations somehow to you if you're watching this so here's one of my personal favorites we got one from yes underscore yes underscore yes he's saying i unsubbed because no more blitz sorry and my my reaction to that is just just don't apologize don't apologize just move on you no need for apologies there uh one less blitz in a, in a on a related note we ex x fatality will you play bsg again I don't know why people keep asking. Oh my gosh. For those of you who are maybe new subscribers, I used to play the Minecraft survival games as like the main focus of my channel. And basically what happened was a, a few things. And I actually, you know what? That, I'm not even answering this guy's question. This is, I swear, every one of these turns into a Q&A. Uh, will I play VSG again? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe. And the answer is just, if I, if I feel like it, to be honest, like... I, I, I'm gonna answer the next question. Ev's video on why you make why you hate making blitz videos. Also, I saw you on, on a leafy video. Well, the reason you saw me on a leafy video is because I get top comments for days on leafy videos. I don't know why. I just appeal to the fan base apparently. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna make an entire video on why I hate making blitz videos. That seems a little intense. Maybe I'll just answer it now. Uh, it's a it's a it's a combination of things. Mostly, I just. You know, after you win the same exact game a thousand, quite literally over a thousand times, uh, it gets to be not quite as, uh, as as fresh of an experience, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a little burnt out of Blitz, so that's the first reason. It's just, uh, I don't know, like, everyone who plays it, they're just like, they. It, you can hear the pain in their voices when they're making the videos, like, they are genuinely unhappy with what they're doing, and that was me too for a while. And it, it does get the YouTube views, it does bring in those subscribers, but it, it just stopped being worth it. Like, I did it for a while just because it was bringing in views and subscribers, and I enjoyed that. You get what I'm saying, though, it just it just wasn't worth it to make those videos in exchange for the amount of subscribers that I was getting. Because, uh, you know, like they say, if you don't enjoy what you're doing on YouTube, you're not going to last very long doing it, and I didn't. I couldn't, I couldn't keep making Bliss videos. Oh, uh, the second reason, that's only the first reason, <laughs> the second reason is because uh, several of my friends do know uh, that I do have a YouTube channel. A lot of Blitz YouTubers and just YouTubers in general just, like, don't tell anyone about their channel. And my my, my advice to you, if you're in that situation, there people are going to find out eventually. It's inevitable, unless you have literally zero social life, you live under a rock. The few people that are in your life do will find out about your YouTube channel, so I just want the channel to be, you know, Oh yeah, Evan, you have a YouTube channel? Oh yeah, what is on it? Oh, nothing but Minecraft Let's Plays. My, you get my point, guys, you get my point. Got uh, Jack the Gamer, he says, you're a pro, man. And, uh, you know, that's the, one of the main reasons I started this channel, just to fuel my ego, you know, just like half the YouTubers on the site, you know, just just a big benefit of having a YouTube channel. It just fuels your ego all the time. You get comments like this, and I'm just like, wow, I'm a great person. I'm a fantastic individual. One two three four five A B C D E writes. Just wasted four minutes of my life and wasted. Now that is a word I have not seen used in a long time, and I'm trying to decipher the sentence. I guess 
I'll have to... I mean, I'm not even sh entirely sure what that means in the context. So apparently, according to dictionary.com, it's having a waste of a specified kind. Shaped like a waste. Having concave sides. I'm still a little confused by that. So he just... It's an, it's an adjective, so I don't know... He's using it as a verb. But it is an adjective, so I just don't think it's just right in the context. English isn't everyone's first language, so that's okay. Six Siege, quite savage PC, but I think you could have better got one GTX 950, like I said, English isn't everyone's first language, four gigabytes or higher instead of two 770s. Uh, sir, sir, shall we look at some benchmarks? Okay, yes, always Google benchmarks before you mention PC specs, alright? Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, I'll these YouTube usernames, why is there not a character limit on names for YouTube? Is there a character limit? Well, I, I feel like it should be like somewhere like around 21 characters, not not 50. Uh, he just loves being in videos, so I'm just going to put him in another one. He just can't believe it. You made it. You made it again. I mean, if you the more the, the more you have that profile picture, the more you're going to make it into the videos. I will say that. It is very nice. Uh, Cater, have you ever had one of those dreams where you're flying, but you're on the ground? And you're a guy with long hair. So this says there is three variables to this dream, and I'm just having a hard time like picturing it, to be honest. So I'm flying, so I'm the one flying, but I'm also on the ground at the same time. So I'm flying on the ground, which uh, confused me a little bit. So I'm trying to get this mental picture in my head. I'm flying on the ground. I'm flying, but I'm on the ground, and I'm a guy with long hair. Yes, I can say that I have had that dream now that I have this picture. I, I can visualize it. XD, I really hope this is satirical, says Christopher Galligan, and my, this channel is so satirical. I, it's one of those channels where I need to put a disclaimer if something isn't satirical, so you can just assume everything is satirical, unless I say otherwise. For the record, for future, for future reference, guys, uh, let's see, the last question, you know, Global Clutch was wondering, he was wondering where, where are my gaming mittens, and that's actually, um, that's actually a great question. I mean, if you guys didn't know, like, you know how when you're, you know, playing games, you're just on your computer for an extended period of time, uh, your hands do tend to get cold. Yes, you've, you've noticed that. Of course you have. And uh, me personally, I, I always think you should have mittens for that situation. You know, obviously, how could I always wear? Personally, for me, I wear, uh, for my gaming mittens, I tend to go with the, the Grand Seer Reg Wool mittens and... Uh, they're they're really they're nice. They're fingerless, so it allows for easier button pressing on the keyboard, and uh, they're just really comfortable. They're they're a fair they're they're fourteen ninety five, so about the price of CS:GO. So um, yeah, I'd say I'd say definitely worth it. Uh, definitely a good purchase. It's it's good. It's good. They're good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll provide a link to where you can buy your own pair. In the in the, in the what? <laughs> I hope some of you do buy some. There's Guys, that was satire. I swear, you need to explain, like... There's always people that think it's serious. That's that's the struggle. That's the true struggle. Is there something else I wanted to talk about? I think I'm going to end off the video because I'm looking at my Audacity recording and I've literally been talking to myself for, like, nine minutes. Wow! Ten minutes. Jeez. I have no life. Okay. Like, like usual, guys, I will end off my, my video with a fun fact. Um, this one, this one's about the Kool-Aid Man, and, um, so you all know the Kool-Aid Man, yes, the one from the commercials. Now, if he were real, if he were real in real life, he would weigh somewhere around 11,000 pounds, which, to give you guys a comparison, is about as much of an elephant. So that's, that's pretty heavy, yeah. So the Kool-Aid Man would weigh about as much of an, as an elephant, 11,000 pounds. Did I say 1,100? Yeah, it's 11,000. That's a lot. Uh... Let's let's just get that let's just get that conversion because I'm an internationally friendly uh, YouTube channel. So if we just go pounds to maybe kilograms, so one pound is 0.45. Okay, let's go. So what was it? Eleven thousand pounds. So that's that's like uh, almost five thousand kilograms right there. That's four thousand nine hundred eighty nine point five kilograms roughly. So yeah, you know, international. That's the thing with being an internationally friendly channel. You got to do those conversions. Otherwise, there will be some people that have to do the conversions by themselves, and I, I just hate for that to happen. Anyhow, <clears throat> that's gonna be it for this another YouTube video.
Why am I so monotone? Until next time. Also, notice the professional outro I have now. Yes, yes. That it takes like five minutes to make it, and which is five minutes longer than it took for me to brag in my old outro. So appreciate that, please. I've always wanted to have one of those outros with the little with little boxes and the little uh, the gameplay in the boxes or the other videos. Yeah, I've always wanted to have one of those, and I finally mustered out the effort to to make it. So. If we could get, uh, let's set a like goal, because like goals are the new thing on YouTube. Um, if we could get one like for every pound that the Kool-Aid man were or were to weigh if he were real. Uh, so around 11,000. Let's go for around 11,000 likes. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.